drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hello and welcome to edupedia world welcome to sap ui5 training session in this training session we're going to see an end to end development of sap ui5 so what is this all about is as a sap ui5 consultant you need to make sure that whatever you get requirement from your architect you have to make sure that is it possible in SAP UI 5 and how you're gonna start your approach and how you're gonna deliver your application to the users. So always you have to think as a user perspective. So let in this session, I'm going to take a basic example of one workflow. There are so many workflows in SAP. So I'm going to take purchase order approval so once I take a purchase order approval so that can be used as a SAP UI for application and then we can start developing that so what is this all about first we have to know so there will be purchase orders so one will make a purchase order in any organization suppose we take a Walmart as an example so when we take a Walmart as an example there will be a list of products it will be dealing with a lot of vendors so each vendor they want to make a purchase order suppose they need a list of pens or a chicken or any flesh meat they want to order so they want to make a purchase order or they want to buy anything stuff so they want to make a purchase order so at that time they'll be doing some transaction so that time they'll be creating a purchase order suppose they they want a milk is a purchase order now one number is generated in that milk there are certain companies like they need uh, different different companies milk products so that they, it will be as a line item. So now let us take an example of purchase order. So one will create purchase order, another will be approve or delayed. So in our application, we'll be going through the approve purchase orders. So once I click on this, it is available in demo kit. So it is this is a list of purchase orders available here so list of purchase orders here and so each purchase order will be divided into sub parts so whenever we talk about purchase order so your architect will be giving you or explaining you the existing application which is already available that he can share with or he can give you the screenshots of the design like the design might be similar to this so you have to make sure so the left side this template is built on fury like template after end of this session you have to build your application fury like template by yourself you don't have to depend on anything you can directly straight away start coding so let us see this it's a fury like template left side always fury has a left side master page and right side detail page so master page consists of list of purchase orders so this purchase orders will be anything so it can be a number normal one user epm user have created this purchase order so this purchase order has a number and the quantity of that so it might be twelve thousand dollars somewhere and the information whatever here it's coming out here like a heavy information so you might be thinking why the information is here right so it can why again it is repeated over here when we talk this is a mobile application so we're gonna see how it works in mobile also so basically we create purchase order approval with uh, desktop view 
and mobile view than tablet view. This all should work. Our application should work on any device. That is our target. So we're gonna see this. So once this is coming, right? So when you click on any of the purchase orders, so you're getting the same information over here. If you click on something else, yeah, see the information is right. So how we are doing this, that we have to make sure. And our architect wants, at the end of the day, the customer. Let us take our customer wants something like this information about this purchase order. And then end user wants a notes who, whoever is doing this or if they attach some notes and any attachments that also can be given here and then the line items so the line items have something called product then quantity delivery date and price let us take an example uh, we have a purchase order of one purchase order where you want to have a list of uh, some mp3 players okay there is a purchase order with mp3 players so we want to have different different delivery dates suppose we want on from here if you take after seven days you want one delivery that is on 30th may 2013 you want you want to have that item to be delivered on that day but other items you want to deliver it on at some other day so you don't want everything at once because there will be a lot of uh, dependencies like maybe the money issue so financially like you have to give right so you have to adjust your budget as well every company has a limited budget every month they can only spend like twelve thousand dollars or some limit will be there so if it is if your purchases exceeds that limit so you have to cut down it right so that thing we can divide it in sub items that is nothing but line items so when you make a purchase order so they, it is divided into sub parts, sub items. If you don't want any sub items, you have money straight away and you want to invest, then there will be only one line item. Okay. There will be no other line items. So each line item has some information. Suppose there is a seven, seven inch widescreen portable DVD player customer want three quantities right so so what are the three quantities information will be given here so delivery on which where to be delivered we are getting we are sending the order but where to be delivered suppose if you take a walmart so walmart has so many branches so not only in colombia new york it has worldwide right so every, maybe one guy will be doing or placing the order he'll be mentioning the go down or warehouse delivery address so that can be given here so the price of it so basically we have something template where we have a list of purchase orders list of purchase orders like this and there is a search also purchase orders three one 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 zero and one and it is not available so like this the search is working fine and then there is a filter also more than 10,000 you can have a label and we'll see this okay and towards your right you have something approve and reject so once you do approve so there is some approve dialog box appears you can approve this so like this okay you can reject this purchase order also so it is selected you can reject this to so if you don't want to process this so there might be like there's there'll be a guy who will be responsible for creating purchase orders so every purchase order need not to be approved right so few things can wait suppose there is a urgency for some products the other product can wait right other purchase order can wait so because the priority is different so like that so based on the request 
the guy who is approving the purchase orders can make a decision. So you'll be seeing the line items, you'll be seeing all the delivery date, where it has to be delivered, etc. He'll be thinking about all that and then he'll be making his decision whether he should approve it or reject it. And the next important thing, suppose if he wants to make a decision but he's not sure about it and he doesn't know about any dependencies also. So what he can do, he can forward this purchase order to particular responsible person. So that particular responsible person can make a decision. So how we're going to handle that is, is like we are creating a button over here, which we are forwarding to that particular mail address. So innovation services, you want to purchase order. So forward if you want to make and you will be forwarding this purchase order to him. So we'll, the purchase order has been forwarded. So we'll be dealing with this purchase order. So how it works is uh, there will be a list of uh, people who will be handling this purchase order. Suppose if you take a Walmart. So Walmart has 10,000 requests or 10,000 or maybe a thousand of purchase order requests every day. So they have, they make so every there will be few people who will be responsible for this purchase orders. So the purchase order approver will log in and he'll be thinking that okay this purchase order doesn't belong to me it, it belongs to someone else so he can forward that purchase order to that particular person so that is also available with this application so in this application we're gonna see all these features so how you're gonna start with basically when you develop this type of applications it is going to take 8 to 16 hours i'm talking about ui development perspective so whenever you do any UI development, backend also need to be ready for that. So the data whichever you are seeing, now you will be hard coding it, not hard coding I can say, you will be using a local JSON object. So local JSON files will be using for as of now, and then you can connect it to the backend, whatever backend system, ERP system you have, you can connect it and you can, you have to create the audit service not you, like a uh, data developer guy will be giving you that service that you can use it in your URP application. In the previous sessions, we have seen that in Postman when Odita services, when, when I talked about Odita services, that time we have seen how to consume Odita service. And in normal models, you have seen how to consume data from the local object. So these are all things considered and uh, what we're gonna do is now we're gonna develop this so i already developed it so i will be making the res uh, reference of this this is always available on your uh, demo kit so you can go and like that only have navigated to this page so usually it is going to take 8 to 16 hours of ui development so we're gonna cut it on shit and uh, we don't want to spend that much time now in developing so we'll make use of that code and we'll try to see how it works thank you for watching edupedia world stay tuned for more videos